Well, the Gauteng leg of the Netball World Cup Trophy Tour just got underway at the cradle of humankind in Johannesburg, as you've just heard this morning. The tour made various stops in Gauteng, including the Netball South Africa headquarters in Pretoria, the Union Buildings and the Loftus Felsfeld Stadium. We're now joined by Zoom by Nundumiso Mkize. She is a sports analyst. Well, Nundumiso, it's been quite a journey for this cup from London to South Africa. You know, just give us a round about, about the Cup Tour itself. I mean, it's created so much excitement. I would imagine the, you know, the players are feeling a little bit tense, but probably well supported. Greetings. Um, it is such an honor to be present here tonight. Uh, obviously, this is one of the biggest and the most exciting tournament that any country would wish to host. And obviously, uh, now that the days are, are drawing closer, it, it brings about so much intensity to, to the players because there's a lot that has been expected by people at large. Um, you know, the fan engagement, when we talk about just the fans in our country, you know how passionate our fans can be. So looking at the engagement, looking at all the tour that has, has been happening since uh, the, the club has landed here, it's it's been amazing people have been turning out people have got high expectations and i am guessing it's really really taking its toll on the players because now they really understand that they have to deliver their assignment is here and it is the time for them to to actually deliver just talking about delivery i mean we know that it's a 15 uh, woman player squad um and everybody is looking forward to that and also it's a mixed bag of you know professionals and also those that have come through the ranks you know the development ranks just talk to us about what we can expect when that tournament starts next month it is a very exciting time for all of us and it's nerve-wracking for or for the players that have justly been called up for a very first time. Uh, you talking uh, about the elite, you talking about the professionals, the lives of uh, Bongi, uh, who is in leadership, and you looking at everything that's been going around, especially now that there's this World Cup buzz and all the platforms that have been created by Inetbo. And looking at, for example, let's just take the stand up tour, the hashtag, hashtag stand up tour by Bongi. When she took that to her city uh, in Hammersdale, there was it, it was guns blazing. Everyone was just excited for it, and you can tell that everyone so wished to to be part of this uh, uh, tournament. So in the past, we we are talking about netball. Netball is one of the oldest uh, uh, sports. Uh, we're talking eighteen hundred. And in the past, it was just uh, little girls being ambitious, throwing the ball around, jumping around, trying to find a net. Now things have changed. Uh, we've got people to look up to. We've got our internal leagues. We've got our, our elite leagues. We've got the professional side of it. So it has created a most a beautiful platform for even the younger ones that are looking up or are looking to, to make a career out of netball, which is a beautiful thing. Absolutely. I mean, this elevates, you know, women's sports. And I mean, as we've heard in that previous uh, clip, that it is important for women to also take up the space and be recognized. Exactly. Yeah, we've been advocating for a very long time. Uh, anyone that knows me and know how passionate I am about women in sports will tell you that I always advocate and say it's about time that we, we become professional, we, we, we end the ranks as well, and we are taken serious in, in the industry. Uh, because when you look at... Uh, stakeholders that are involved uh, you you are thinking these people are really really brave to partake in this and actually uh, put so much in this because when you are going and approaching uh, brands and you are bringing the sports that is participated by mostly females or women uh, in most cases before you would not be taken serious because i mean we, we we went you know just as sporty as it expected or the society expect nowadays that has just changed totally so we we are giving a round of applause to all the people or the stakeholders that are coming forward to to assist because obviously for each and every sport to be successful it, there's a lot of things that needs to be put forward in terms of funds sponsorships and 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 so forth so there are people that sit on those boardrooms and and vouch for for such mm. to say there will be return on, on investment when you invest on this and to think of those people is amazing 
I mean, absolutely. I'm in agreement with you. And of course, the, wor the world as well as, of course, South Africa is uh, vouching for our ladies. Nandumiso, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Nandumiso Mkiza is a sports analyst. Of course, we're talking all things Netball World Cup. And of course, uh, the Proteas will open their campaign with a match against Wales on July 28th.